Hey guys, it's your girl Ashley here. I know I've been MIA and I haven't really done any videos recently. I think the last one was my Shein haul maybe. Um, I am going to order more clothes from Shein, so definitely stick t stay tuned for that. A lot of stuff has been going on, um, like in my family and stuff, and just it's pretty emotional. Like my shirt says, I'm emotionally exhausted. I got that from Shein. Um, but yeah, I am wanting to give you a book haul. Um, and then tell you kind of what's going on and how my book hauls are going to change now and how I've changed reading. I've read a bunch of books this month. Um, I want to say I've read seven, eight maybe. Um, so there's a huge wrap up coming for that. Um, and I'll tell you how I read them in a little bit. But let's go through the books first. Um, this I got, It Happens One Summer by Tessa Bailey. This was my um, best friend pick. Andrea sent this to me. Um, it's my first Tessa Bailey book, and it is so good. Um, it's basically about Piper, and this character is basically um, the character on Schitt's Creek. If you watch Schitt's Creek, Alexis, she's my, I love her. It's kind of, Piper's based on that. She basically has this like crazy night and her stepdad is like you're embarrassing us like you know you don't really value money and he puts her in uh is it west hold on i'm gonna see what it's called in westport washington where her dad who who is now passed away he was um like a sea captain he he, he passed away from a storm she goes there with her sister and has to kind of uh re re redecorate re like run the the bar that's there and again she is basically a spoiled brat so she ends up like falling in love with the town the town loves her i loved her as a character um she meets this guy what is his name brendan right here and again, it kind of reminds me of the guy from Schitt's Creek. I can't think of his name. And they form a relationship. And there was like steamy scenes in this. And it was really, really good. Like my first Tessa Bailey book will not be my last. It I cannot wait to read more from this author. Like it was just such a cute summer read. A fast read. Like I, I loved it. So I got that. Then I got The Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendricks. This, you've, oh, I think this was my last video. I did a re um, the review on this. This I got from Lori, and this was so good. Um, the last Grady Hendrix book I read was the Southern Guys, the Southern Book Guide to Killing Vampires, something like that. Uh, this was all about final girls that have survived like massacres. Like there was like a Scream-related one, a Jason-related one, um, a, a Halloween-related one. Like they're all related, and they were the final girls. And someone's killing off the final girls, and they're gonna find out who it is. And it's just so good I loved it um the audiobook I'd skip the audiobook um the person that does it is I believe she was in Friday the 13th um and she's not used to doing audiobooks obviously so it's not the greatest so don't get the audio I did just because that's how I read but um yeah so I got that and then my two books for book of the month I got Survive the Night by Ray Riley Sager this is about a girl who um she survives again um not, not really survives but she her roommate dies her her best friend and she's left alive and it leaves her with like a lot of hallucinations she calls them movies in her head and she basically goes on this road trip with this guy that she just met from college to go home because she, she's like leaving everything and it's not what it turns out to be and there was a lot of twists and turns this was like my favorite one i've read so far from him Again, I read the audiobook too. It was really good. Um, really, really good book. So I got that. And then I got 56 Days by Catherine Ryan Howard. This is about a thriller written during COVID-19. Um, these two people, they meet, they go on a date, and after that they soon move in because it's COVID, so they quarantine each other. And then 56 days later, I think it is, there is a dead body found. No, thir uh, 35 days ago, they were locked in the house. And today they find a dead, decaying body. Um, I haven't read this one yet just because it's not on audiobook because it's just an early release. It comes out August, I think. So I just got it, but I cannot wait to read that one. I read a lot of thrillers this month. And then on to my... Oh, and the last book I got from my friend 
friends I got um, from Vanessa. It's Lessons in Sin by Pam Godwin. I've read a little bit of this. I've read page 32 to 232. Uh, basically, it's about this girl. Why can't I remember her name? It's a weird name, too. Um, hold on. Her name is Tinsley. Tinsley is this, like, bad person. Like, not, not, not bad person, but she's, like, a rebellious teenager. Like, she's 18. Um, and her mother is, like, famous. And she's, like, you're giving our, na our like, legacy a bad name. So she sends her to this academy for girls, which is kind of like a boot camp. And it's run by Father Magnus Falk and he's given up like he's a priest and stuff but he likes her and they're supposed to be like steamy stuff and they have a forbidden relationship i believe um yeah so this is the one i got from her and then on to let's do ebay i got a lot of books from ebay this month um just because i didn't want to like pay full price on amazon but again it's ebay so you get the you you get whatever quality you get I got Sweet Surrender by Maya Banks. Um, I don't know much about this. And I don't want to know much about this. I just know it's like steamy. It says erotic romance suspense. So um, I did read her other book, uh, In Bed with a Highlander. Love that. I had never, I haven't finished that, that series yet, but I love that book. That book started me on historical romance. Um, so I picked up this one. It was like four bucks, I think. Not the greatest quality, but pretty good. Then I picked up Tessa Dare, A Week to Be Wicked. This is the first book in the, uh, what is it called? The Spindle Cove series. Um, again, it's not the greatest quality, um, but it's fine. Basically, I'll show you the step back too. There's a step back. Um, I don't know much about this. It says, when a devilish lord and a blue stock set off on a road to ruin, time is not on their side. So I got that. I got this one off of eBay, which actually came in really good condition, and this is The Earl Takes All by Loreen Heath. Step back. And I believe this one is about, yeah, she's pregnant, and she had a miscarriage before. Her husband returns from two months. Um, I think he was, like, away in war or something, but it's actually his twin brother, that he doesn't want to tell her that his brother died for risk of her losing the baby again so it's their relationship Look at that and the worst copy i got off ebay was eva lee waiting for a scott like you the union of the rakes series if you notice like it's it's pretty bad condition like i think i paid a few dollars for this but it's pretty bad um this is basically about a girl who is just tired of her life and everything and wants to go have an orgy and she wants to, t t to travel to go do it and they're like no you need to take somebody with you so she takes him and it's them on a road trip and her it's really really good but I believe Riley Marie read that and then the one book I got off Amazon because I returned all my books from Amazon which I'll explain in a minute um I got the butterfly garden by Dot Hudson uh, this is supposed to be really good, but really, like, twisted and messed up. Like, I believe it says in the front, but I could be wrong. Um, no, it doesn't say. But I heard that this is basically about a guy who, who collects girls and tortures them, I believe. And here there is um, mention of rape, sexual assault, pedophilia, violence, uh, suicide. So it's a very, really hard-hitting book. I really want to read it. It was like seven bucks on Amazon, so I bought it. It's also on, on Kindle Unlimited if you wanted to read it. Um, so I cannot wait to read this. I think I might hold this off till October for our um, Halloween, that, our chiller thriller readathon that we always do. So I might hold it off till then. But we'll see. My books are literally like falling. And then the last book I got was Dark Lullaby How Far Would You Go to Protect Your Child by Polly Yo Yun. I don't know much about this. I bought this at. Uh, Barnes and Noble when I went out with my mom I didn't know what I wanted and I saw this and what got me is it says a handmade a handmaid's tale for the modern world and that just got my attention like this um it says it's heart-wrenching absolutely compelling and a scary plausible one of the most important books to be published this year so don't, don't know much about it I don't want to go into knowing much about it but 
again handmade sale i love the handmade sale you guys know that so i had to pick this one up so on to other books i have really got into reading the kindle i have the kindle paperwhite um Lori bought this for me valentine's day two years ago i want to say um it's a 2014 one and it it's 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 dying it was refurbished so it, it wasn't like brand new or, or anything but I had it and I never really never really read it and then one day I just decided to to read it and oh my goodness I downloaded so many books I read so many books this is how I'm reading books for now on um I decided to switch to Kindle um, I'm actually hoping to get the Kindle paper white soon I returned all my books I bought for from Amazon this month to get the paper right which hopefully I'm waiting for them to give me the credit back so I can get the paper, the paper white. This is a paper white too, but uh, this is the 2014 one. It has like 166 PPI. The other one's 300. So it's better. It's faster. This one's kind of slow and sluggish and crashes a lot. Um, I put a pop socket on the back of it to, to help me read it. I did have a case on it, but the pop socket is so much better. Um, I read it in bed. I read it anytime I get a chance. This is like the best thing. Um, and I decided to switch to ebooks mainly because I have, I'm in a small apartment, it's a two bedroom apartment, and I have six bookcases and I needed more space. And I'm like, I can't buy another bookcase. I can't keep buying more bookcases. And my sister's coming to live with me next year. Um, so that room, which was like my library room, is not gonna be her room. So I'm like, I, I can't keep buying bookcases. Like, what am I gonna do? So I was like, I'll try eBooks. And I did, and I loved it, and I read so much on it. And this is how I'm gonna mainly have my books. Um, so I will show you on my iPad the books that I bought. Um, I had returned three books from, from Amazon that I bought, and I was able to buy 10 eBooks with the credit from three books, three physical books. So I love how cheap it is. Some of them are cheap. If you get like the like just published books, they're a little bit more money but let me show you what I got. So in my library, I got, let me show you. What I'm probably gonna have to do is probably just show it to you and then, cause I don't show it, does it show me the cover? Hold on guys, I, I'm new to all this stuff. Is it to show? Okay. I'll just show it to you like this. I got The Wolf Gone Wild by Juliet, Juliet Cross. Um, this book was five bucks. And this book, and I did buy the physical one, so I returned it and got this one. Basically, this book is about a girl who, I think it's about a witch and a werewolf fall in love, I think. That's how it goes. For now, I'll just put the books right here so you can see them or over here. Um, so I got that. That was the first book I bought. And then I bought sorry things are I, I bought the soul mate equation uh, by Christina Lauren because I love Christina Lauren so I got that then I bought a duchess a day uh, by Sharice Michael it is a snow white retelling I bought hate by Tate James It's the Madison Kate series can I zoom in no I can't zoom in um, then I bought Sea of Ruin by Pam Godwin. This is about a pirate romance, I believe. I bought Radiance by Gracie Duravin. Um, this is a romance Riley Marie talks about. It's really good. Then I bought Positive by Dan Wellington. This is about a zombie apocalyptic world. Um, it's zombies have already like affected the world and stuff, and basically. Um, you, you're, if you if you have like a mark on your hand with like a plus sign, you basically have the virus inside you. If you turn 21 and you don't have the virus, like you don't, don't turn into a zombie, then you go to this camp or something. It seemed really good. It was like a dollar ninety nine. It was cheap, so I got that. I got Reborn Yesterday by Tessa, Tessa Bailey. I think this is a vampire book. I got The Doctor. I actually got three of them. I got The Doctor. Two of them. I got The Doctor by, by Nikki Sloan, which is a doctor not a doctor i think it's a doctor romance and but it's an age gap romance and then the other one is the pool boy by nikki salone and that is a age gap but it's the 
woman that is older than the man and the doctor the man is older than the woman so i got those two then i got sky hunter by marie lou i don't know much about it but i do know it is a good book because my friends have talked about it i got girl's guide to witchcraft by mindy lakis it sounds really good it's about a girl who i think is a witch obviously and starting out or something um i did rebuy because i do have this in physical form a court of thorns and roses by sarah j moss i bought that because again this is how i'm reading my books so i bought that one i bought Gar guarding temptations by talia hibbert this is a forbidden romance between a best friend's brother and his sister and then i bought touch of darkness by sinclair saint sinclair saint Clair. Well, Scarlet St. Clair. This is a Persephone and Hades retelling. I bought Sangri Sangrini. Um, it's a vampire book. It is. It says a short story about vampires by Sierra Simone. I bought The Priest by Sierra Simone, which is a priest romance. I bought... Uh, what I, I bought... Oh yeah, I think that's the last one I bought. And then for... The month of August, technically, um, Lori bought me *Serpent and Dove* in physical and ebook. So those are all the ebooks I bought. Like I'm telling you, I got so many books. These are the ones I had before, but I've got so many books. I'm thinking about doing a, th a thing on my channel, maybe one once a week, showing you the books that are on sale because there's a lot of good books on sale. I think *Sky Hunter* was like $2.99. Um, so a lot of good books are on sale. So I got those books. Um, I did get free books. I didn't mention the free books. Um, I'll do that real quick for you guys. Um, I got Wanted Wasted Words by Stacey Hart. I don't know what that. They think it's a bookstore romance. I got The Haunting of Sunshine House. Um, that is about a place where elderly people are living. It's like a home and all of a sudden people start to die. I got Beneath by marina a miley it says an incident in the atlantic o ocean a fake no one a fake no one could imagine got that one um i got infidelity book one betrayal i got overturned by Stacey by stacy wow by sky warren i got trickery curse of the gods book one i got the governess gambit by erica riley too wicked to kiss by erica riley and blood in the bayou by cm sutter so I got a lot of books for what I paid for. I got a lot of books. Um, like, like I said, I returned three books that I bought, which was, I brought, I bought the last book in the, um, bromance for the, the, the fourth one. Isn't it romantic? I returned that. I returned, um, a waiting for a Scott like you, cause I bought it cause I wanted a better copy cause that was not the greatest. And then Allison's. Alice, Alice, Alice Madness. It's a it's a reverse harem book. Hold on, let me tell you because I'm sure you guys want to know. It's basically a reverse harem, which every everybody in uh, Wonderland wants to screw Alice. And it is called. It is on Kindle Unlimited too, just so you know. Because that's the reason why I returned it because I spent like twelve dollars for it. It is called, it's by C.M. Stuntnik, Stuntnitz. It's Allison's Adventures in Underland, a dark reverse harem book. That's what it looks like. So I returned that and I was able to get 10 books for the price of three physicals. So yeah, I'm loving this. I cannot wait to get the new one and I'll definitely do an unboxing for you and explain the ways of how I am an avid book reader. Like I love books and how a key uh, a kindle changed my whole perspective on reading so that's everything that's all the books i read this i'm well, not not read but it's all the books i bought this month i hope you guys like it um and i will see you guys in my wrap-up actually so i'll see you guys in my july wrap-up like i was saying make love long rocks with me and kind of each other bye guys